What's going on guys? JD here for the next episode of JD Plays Feed the Beast Infinity on the Zekrid server. And I've just made myself a nice little Enderium gear. And I'm getting ready to work on some stuff downstairs. As you can see, all my machines have been pulled. We've begun moving into our lab downstairs. I haven't moved the uh, smeltery. And I haven't moved the coke oven. We are done cooking uh, quite a bit of our charcoal. We have a whole lot of cold coke now. This little liquid trash can is still just guzzling up to fluids. I did go sky chest hunting, getting ready to do some stuff with applied energistics. So I've got a bunch of sky stone and a bunch of sky chests. Really hard to break, fun stuff. And so let's head downstairs. Uh, last time we ended the episode with me making a jetpack. And I have already upgraded that jetpack to a hardened jetpack, and I've armored it. So it now holds 400,000 RF versus 25,000, but it uses 50 RF per tick versus 25. And it looks like I'm wearing a chest plate when I wear it now because I have it hardened. So nice and fancy and very stylish. Jets on the back and armor on the front. Anyway, we're not on the right floor. Let's keep going down. So this place is still in disarray, but as you can see, I've kind of started setting up the base to have a warehouse back here for all of our item storage. And this is all connected through these lovely, lovely item conduits that we've finally gotten from Ender.io, which are quite expensive, and it's cost me a crap ton of Invar, Tin, uh, Enderium to get this set up. But it's a pretty good item sorting system until I get into AE, which is pretty in-game, and yet I'm about to start it. Uh, because of building all this, I am currently pretty low on tin. When I say I'm currently pretty low on tin, I mean I have none left. So I'm going to have to go get tin here in a bit. But that's okay. It's not going to stop us from doing what we're going to do right now. And I have no idea how loud the game volume is. For me, it's kind of loud, so I'm going to turn that down just a tad. Alright, uh, this time when I set up my lasers, I've set them up back here. I have not set all of my machines up yet. They're, most of them are still sitting around on the floor, scattered about, while I decide what's getting put where. But I do have over in this corner the basic capacitor bank set up so that I can recharge the jetpack by throwing that in there. And I had this during the episode where we made the jetpack. I don't know why I didn't think to use it. Because, yeah, I, I use it to test the uh, flow, the input, from my water mills. Which, if you weren't aware, I now have a third water mill. There's this one, the one below it, and a third one here. So we're now running three of those. We'll, we'll, we'll definitely expand to four. I'm not sure how much further than that will go. But, yeah. Um, and if you want to change this basic capacitor block, you just shift right-click it with a open hand. It'll give you a gauge, or it'll tell you your input-output, or it'll be a blank face. Your choice. And then inside, there are four storage ports where you can charge things up. I'm not sure why the interface is off over here. Probably because of the Perdicio rings and things that aren't, aren't part of the original uh, GUI. But, you know, it's whatever. It works. Uh, I have a little simple system going right here where this chest, or this sag mill can pull from this chest. The uh, alloy smelter can push and pull to this chest. And then this chest is just hanging out because he was lonely. Now, I did run power all the way across from this guy to the uh, lasers over here. So we've got the four lasers set up. I'm probably going to make a fifth because that's really ugly. But for now, this is the setup. And yeah, what we're getting ready to do is we're going to toss this in. Now what we have is an emerald chip set. Very simple. Emerald plus uh, redstone in this assembly table. The dense refined iron plate, which is nine refined iron plates in a compressor. The refined iron plates, of course, are pieces of steel that have been made into plates through a metal former. The intricate circuit board is a carpenter. And we just put gold and redstone in there. A little water, a little RF. And so we're going to take those items along with some crushed obsidian from our rock crusher and an enderium gear. And we're going to make our first machine frame. It's a resonant machine frame. So let's turn that sucker on. Let the laser light show power up. It looks like these two are having issues. Oh, no, they're just slow to start. Okay, we got blue, blue. Come on. All right, we got max power. And I have a feeling this is going to take a little bit. Let's let's just see. Uh, resonant. Right here. Resonant machine frame. Yeah, look at this. This is going to chew up a whole freaking 50 million RF to make that. So it probably won't be done before this episode is over if I wait the entire time to get to that. 
Now where that's going to get used, it's going to get used in a lot of things. Where we're going to use it, well, I'll tell you after it gets made. Uh, so I'm going to let that go. We've got some other stuff to look at while we're waiting on it, but yeah, I don't expect that to be done quickly. So we'll come back to that, you know, once we do a breakaway. I've moved my jet fuel down. Now, we've got some cool stuff going on over here. You haven't seen these yet, and these are Flux Crystals from Ender.io. The reason I, or not Ender.io, I'm sorry, uh, Applied Energistics. The reason I've been making those, and we'll go, let's see, do I have the stuff up there still? I got an idea. We, I know I just saw some Certus Quartz ore somewhere. Where was it? Oh, and for a demonstration of how the current inventory system works, anything I drop in this chest, if it has a spot on the wall, it's going to get sucked out through this pipe, it's going to go find its spot on the wall, and it's going to go to it. So, for example, uh, I'll grab some of this, some of that, some of this, some of that, some of this, some of that, some of this, and some of that. And I can just come over here and drop all of this stuff at random. I don't know what else I grabbed. This. Oh, no, I need those. This and this. I can just throw all this stuff in there, and it's all going to get sorted back to its appropriate spots. And so that's pretty cool. I can just come in here and dump off now and let it do its thing. What's eventually going to happen is I'm going to be able to dump into a chest. So, for example, you see a lot of ore here. I'll dump into a chest that guides this ore through its ore processing, smelts into ingots, kicks it back through the system to where it's supposed to go. So that's that's what we'll be working towards soon. Um, I'm going to be setting up more of these work tables over here. <clears throat> and probably this whole wall will end up being work tables. And we'll extend the storage wall probably out to about right here and this will just be a ginormous warehouse right here and hopefully we'll have the system automated to where we can dump whatever we want you know into a chest that's sitting say right here and it just gets sucked into the inventory system which technically I could do that now and probably no I wouldn't be saving any uh, conduit okay oh I still got these silly things on me let's uh, get rid of this 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 uh, this and this well this can actually be sorted Goodbye. Okay. Let's go see if this has even moved a smidgen at all. Whoops. <laughs> it's showing nothing. So, I may have to build more lasers or come back to this tomorrow because this resonant machine frame is going to take a significant amount of power to make. So, we'll look at setting the carpenter and stuff up to get to work on that. Now, the other thing that I'm getting ready to start on is I want to get started on, and we were going to go upstairs, weren't we? I want to get started on some parts of Applied Energistics because we need a certain piece that you can only get from Applied Energistics to make our quarry. And I would really like to start working towards a quarry. Oh, that reminds me. We have made some stuff since I last talked to you guys, haven't we? Somewhere around here is a couple of things that I need. We need to locate them. This is two of them. I might need two of these. I don't remember. Um, is it everything? I've been combining, condensing all my chests, so it's becoming more and more difficult to find things now. Because I don't have this nice semblance of order I once had. We'll need this. Okay, and we'll need the one that's in here. There we go. Okay. So, if you weren't aware, within Ender IO, you have these basic capacitors. Well, you also have these double layer capacitors. They take two basic capacitors and some energetic alloy and a blazing electron tube. These are pretty typical, but they're just blaze powder in the thermionic fabricator as usual. And these energetic alloys are very easy redstone, glowstone, and gold. These things are nice. They will increase energy storage and speed in the range of your Ender I.O. machines. I happen to have two right here. Uh, there's another upgrade, the Octatic, which takes two of these, which we have, and an Ender Electron Tube, which we have. This takes in stone and Eye of Ender, which you can get in stone by taking Sandstone and pouring Resonant Ender, which is just Ender Pearls, from a Fluid Transposer over it. Okay. There are other ways to get it, but yeah. We also have two of these. We actually have like 14 left of these vibrant alloys. And all these are is 
an energetic alloy combined with an ender pearl and an alloy smelter. So when we put all this in here, we can pop this bad boy out. Now that is super awesome because this allows me to, if we look at this, without this in, this machine holds 100,000 RF and it puts out a max, it uses a maximum of 20 RF a tick. Uh, to put that into perspective, let's cook up some sand into glass. That'd be really cool if I could upgrade this. That'd be pretty awesome. This thing is losing power because it's attempting to help power these things over here. That's kind of crazy to know. I'll have to keep that in mind. Anyways, if I start cooking sand right here, we'll watch how long it takes. One piece of sand, no problem. It's going up by, what, 6 to 7% per tick. And it wasn't even a tick. It's going up pretty quick, to be honest. Now, if I throw this in here, now this is going to jump up to holding 500,000 RF now. And it's going to put a system drain on this that's pretty heavy. It's really pulling out of there. If we throw a piece of sand in there, it goes almost instantaneous now. It is really, really rapid. These octatic capacitors are nice. This is what makes Ender IO so amazing. It also makes them use a bit more, they can use more RF per tick, so it puts a bigger power drain on your system, but you get much higher output from them. So now my sag mill and my uh, alloy smelter are really fast. Let's take a look at that right quick. I've got some ore here. Let's take, um, we'll do iron, because I can get tin from iron, so that works. Now this bad mamma jamma's got some flint in it. Okay, that's good. Let's throw this in here and let this start grinding. Look at that. So fast. So pretty. Got a little pulverized out. Nice. And while this is sitting here filling this thing up, that tin is dropping, or iron's dropping right in here and getting smelted straight and ingots and popping into this chest. That's awesome. Got a little bit of tin. Now keep in mind that having these here is increasing our chance at bonus output for the tin. So that's awesome. Alright. Man, that is really tearing me down on power. I don't think... Th and I made a bunch of tin plates. That's where all my tin went, by the way. <laughs> it didn't just vanish. I actually used it. I love how quickly this thing tears through this stuff. It just makes me happy. We're almost done. I'm going to grab this pulverized out. That's why I'm just kind of sitting here watching it. Cool. So basically this thing almost smelted it as fast as uh, it could make it. That's a little crazy when you think about it. Get some more invar here. Alright, let's cook us up. See, now this is going to turn this into regular stone, and then we're going to cook the tin. There's the tin. No, we're not cooking iron. And my capacitor bank is drained. So that's a pretty good sign that I probably need to get that additional water mill going if I really want to be able to handle the kind of power up. Look at this, man. This thing's been running for like 10 minutes now. It's barely even nudged this thing. This is going to take a while. That's good to know. I know I need to be making those things overnight when I go to bed. Uh, yeah, that's actually kind of cool that you made those. I could actually make use of those. We're going to make a few more of those now that I think about it. So these things are what I use to make uh, different Project Red pieces, like the timer that I use on my uh, some of my toys. So having a few of those around, probably a good idea. Okay, now let's go look at something a little more cool. We still need to get some ore, though. Um, do I have... There's charged. That'll work. Let's grab that charged... And I think this stuff works in a sag. Yeah, we get certus quartz and 
Serious Quartz Dust. What do you get from this one? Charged Serious. Okay, cool. Perfect. So we're going to grab that out and that out and sort this. Dense, dense. Alright, cool. I may need to make, what does it take to make a sterling? Sterling generator. I've got one of those. I've got one of those. I can make those. I don't want to make this. I hate making these chassis. They're annoying. But I happen to have everything I need to make that. And I might go make one, actually. Just to have a more solid fuel fuel base under us. So, Certus Quartz. Let's throw these two in first. Oh, it's not going to let me sag that? Oh, I'm in the furnace. I'm done. There we go. Sag that out for me. And we're just going to grab this out. Now we're going to leave this here to do its thing. Uh, okay, let's head downstairs. So what I want to show you is down... Actually, it's upstairs. It's going to be right in here. and It's going to be right inside this room. So yesterday I started to toy around with getting some uh, of the different crystals that we're going to need for quartz wise for uh, applied energistics now I went meteor rating like I said and I was able to get the inscribed calcul calculation press engineering press logic press and silicon press those are the four you need if you got those four you're doing good I've already made a bit of quartz fiber and I've already upgraded some of it to emmy glass cable I'm not sure where the others went and I was looking at what I could do to hook this up to power unfortunately I cannot hook that up to power until I make an energy acceptor. And to make an energy acceptor, I have everything I need except for the ability to make this. This quantum core. To make the quantum core, I need to kill the wither four times. I already have the ability to spawn the wither. I have one sitting here right now. That's not a big deal. That's not the problem. The problem is I need to make this enriched scenarium. To make enriched scenarium, we need... Uh, that's an alloy. To make that, we need enriched scenario plates and scenario alloy. Now, scenario alloy is just scenario with iridium reinforced plates, and that's advanced alloys with iridium ore and diamonds. And iridium ore is made different ways. Yeah, it's gonna be fun. Um, that's that's not all. Uh, you know, that's just the start of the fun with getting to be able to use this machine. We also need to, you know, to be able to actually make this scenarium. Scenarium requires a molecular transformer with glowstone dust, and it takes one million energy, and you'll get a scenarium piece. So we need some pretty hefty machinery and power grid to handle this. And right now, frankly, we ain't got it. So there's kind of a postponement on this, but that does not stop us from growing these and what these are I'll pick these up right quick these are seeds there are nether quartz seeds there are certus quartz seeds and you get these very easily so nether quartz certus quartz I'm sorry I didn't mean to grab those each of these respectively grinds down into dust if you take the dust and you mix it with sand, you will get seeds. There is another quartz that's not listed here. You take charged quartz, you take some redstone, and you take some nether quartz, and you throw them into the pool of water. And this is just a standard, regular pool of water. There's nothing special about this. And they become, bam, fluix crystals. Okay? Now these we can use for a lot of things and these are important but we can use them in a grinder to get fluix dust and you use fluix dust with sand to get the seeds for this one right here and you grow them the same way these things take about 16 hours to grow in a pool of water until you get these crystal growth accelerators going so you're going to want to start growing these kind of early because it's going to make these purified I don't know where I've done with mine. I have some upstairs. I'll show you in a minute. It's going to make these into purified crystals. And you're going to need the purified crystals for a few recipes. It also effectively doubles the amount of crystals you have. 
So it's it's kind of a good thing. Um, we're gonna take these upstairs right now, actually, and grind them down, and then turn to turn them into powder, so that we can double them. We need to go back down. I keep forgetting my base is downstairs now, so I keep flying upstairs. If you're wondering why my map is looking all crazy, I upgraded my server to 2.1.2 today, and had to do a Mac backup and move everything over, and then. Uh, had a few run-ins with a map being named incorrectly and had to copy my map over from a uh, single player world and apparently I was using a, th a different texture pack when I generated this map than the one I'm using now so that's why it looks different. Same exact map just a different texture pack generating it. Okay. We are not making progress on this. That is not happening within this episode. I'm sorry guys. Okay, let's see how we're doing here. Look at all that. It's beautiful. Set of squats. Let's grind this. Give it to me, give it to me, give it to me, yeah! Alright, so if we take this 8 dust, and we mix up some sand, we're going to get 16 seeds back. Now, somewhere in this base, there are some purified, or pure, or something to that extent, crystals. Let's see if we can find them. Here they are. Boop, 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 boop. Okay, so here's your pure Surtis Quartz Crystal, here's your pure Nether Quartz Crystal, and there's your pure Flu Quartz Crystal. So I've already made some of these, but I'm going to continue to make these because we're going to need those for AE anyways, for Applied Energistics, when we get ready to go hard on that. So I'm going to just take these up here, and all you need to do is throw these in some water and wait for them to grow. These will not despawn. They even tell you in the item description, this item won't despawn, and it tells you what the percentage of growth is right now. So, I'm going to cut camera there, and I'm going to wait the hours I think that it's going to take for this thing to finish production. I may even go build another water mill in the meantime, or I may just go tin mining. We'll see. I'm going to continue to get my base in a bit better organization and try to plan out where all the rest of my machines are going to go. And I'll bring you guys back when we get ready to be done with this so I can show you what we're going to use to build it for. We're going to have to be building a lot of these, unfortunately. So it's good for me to see that this is taking so long because I'm probably going to want to turn this into a 9 laser um, box that just blasts this with RF as fast as I can pump it in. And I may go all gung-ho and... Let's go look at my waterfalls right quick before we cut camera here. Because they're just, I mean, they're, they're sexy and having having a jetpack makes it so much nicer to look at them. Look at those bad boys. Just pumping that electricity out. So I'm thinking, I'm, I may go this way. I think I can fit one in there. I'll have to measure it. I'll definitely put one below this at some point. I don't know if I'll do it right away. Because there may already be something below that. I don't know. Um... And it looks like I can pretty easily fit one there if I wanted to. So, I mean, I could have this in, just become an entire wall of water mills and have like eight of them producing 720 RF per tick. Or I could just go to a better power source. <laughs> this is passive, though. This doesn't cost me anything, so that's kind of awesome. And honestly, I mean, one of the main reasons I'm liking to build the water mills, I like how they look. I still want to build a windmill up here just because I think like with the water mills and the windmill, it kind of gives it that steampunk look and that's kind of cool to me. I do like that I can you know see in my base. I've got the double bridges going now. I need to build some kind of like platform that wraps around from somewhere. I'm thinking like from right there and goes up to my nether portal. That'll be pretty awesome. So we'll look at getting some of that stuff done. I'll bring you guys back whenever I'm ready and until then I'll see you guys in a bit. Alright YouTube welcome back. Now unfortunately it seems that I'm not quite ready to be able to make what I was planning to make. I mean, I'll be able to, but it's going to take a long time for that part to finish, and it's really delaying me being able to get other things done. So we'll finish what that part was meant for in the next episode. But, to make it up for you, we're going to do something special. You see before you me being stuck inside of a handy-dandy meteor, one of the meteors that I mined, to get my patterns for applied energistics. So I am completely encased myself in this lovely handy dandy meteor. And it is completely boxed in with its own original sky stone. 
Now this is not what one looks like inside. I've mined it up. But what we're going to do inside this handy dandy thing is we're going to take these lovely wither skulls and this soul sand and we're going to spawn the wither. And we're going to fight him. And we're going to see how that goes because I've never fought the wither. I'm a gimp. So soul sand in this pattern. Head number one. Head number two. Here it comes. Oh, I messed up. <laughs> All right, hold up. Let's get ready for this for real. Got a little potion here. A little splash potion there. Eat a little chicken, just in case. Nope, we're full. Okay. Got my bow ready. Where's my bow? There's my bow. Okay, got my bow ready. All right, here we go. There's the weather. Here comes the charge up phase. It's invulnerable right now. Okay, he's no longer invulnerable, but I'm dying. Strength potion for me. Potion of healing. Um, yeah, he hurt me. Okay. There is the wither. I have shot him. Whoa, he is not happy with me. Chasing the wither. And fighting. No, come back. He's loud. Whoa, what is going on? Come here. I'll just shoot you then. He's not hitting me, so that's cool. Go jetpack. Okay, he hit me that time. Roar! Roar! Oh, he's a gimp. My nether star! I got the nether star, but did he drop something else? Okay, that was kind of crazy, the whole fighting in midair thing. I don't know where all my loot went, but I got a miniature yellow heart and a nether star, and it looked like he dropped something else, so we're going to have to look around for it. But that was pretty cool, I guess. He's not as strong as I they considered him to be. But okay. Um... <laughs> so there you go YouTube I have slain my first wither and you got to watch and we got our nether star and we got our miniature heart and that was not as satisfying as I'd hoped so I'm going to go farm more withers and we're going to kill a lot of those anyways um, I'll get figured out you know what's going on with the other stuff that I wanted to make oh by the way I didn't really have much of a chance of dying if you notice I'm carrying around 149 levels of experience I'm also wearing a last stand 2 helm Part of the reason I wanted the mob farm is that Last Stand 2 allows you to absorb damage to your experience versus to your health bar. And that's kind of was my plan all along. So yeah, I probably wouldn't have died regardless. But, you know, theatrics, it's fun. If you get a chance to get some Last Stand 2 gear, get it. It's very nice. It makes you really super hard to kill. I could have swore he dropped something else, but I don't know what it was. It looked like one of those uh, sigils. I need to come up with a better room to contain him, to fight him in, so that he won't fly away on me like that. Anyway. Wait, there it is. I see, it is a sigil. Haha, <laughs> I was right. Nice, we got a second division sigil. That's awesome. Heck yeah. Okay, we're headed home. Do I have my glider? This will save me some fuel. The glider does work with the uh, jetpack, by the way. You can even pop it while you're flying and then just let off the space bar whenever you want. So I'm going to get to height here. That's good enough. And then we're just going to hold shift and go fast. No more use of the jetpack. So a nice little combo here. It'll help you conserve jetpack fuel. So fast. And there we go. We have killed the wither. What do I need to use it for this? I need to get a red heart. I can turn this into a miniature red heart. Or I can turn it into a yellow heart canister to permanently increase health with a red heart canister. 
And for that, I need a necrotic bone, an empty canister, a miniature red heart, and a jeweled apple. And for that, oh, dude, I can make that. Let's make one of those right quick. Wait, what do I need for the can? Hold up. Used, used, this. Tin can. Okay, cool. Uh, I'm out of tin, but I bet I can do something about that. Let's make one of those right quick. That, that's pretty cool. Give me even more health. Somewhere in a box, I have hearts. They're downstairs, I think. But somewhere in a box here, I have tin. Just a little bit, but I have some right there. Boop. Okay, so there's that. Oh, wait, what? That That's not what it's supposed to make. Tin gear bushing? No. Use this. Make this. Make this. Aluminum ingots gives us an empty canister. Oh, okay. Or tin around a bone. I think I'll use the aluminum. But thanks. Since I've already got jack shit for tin, you know. Aluminum, where are you, buddy? Is that you? Yes, sir. I'll take uh, one, two, three, four. Beautiful. Okay, so a little aluminum. Uh, it's so cool that I got a second division sigil. I'm pretty happy about that. Nether star, let's store that. There's that necrotic bone we need. Okay, so we need that. We'll have to make a golden apple. That's not a big deal. We got some gold, right? Gold? Yeah, we're okay on gold. We need, what, eight of them? 72? So a stack. And then a little more. What, eight more? One, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay. That works. We're going to have to go downstairs and get some apples. Do I need anything else up here? That's downstairs. I've got this. We need the four diamonds and that apple. Okay, so four diamonds. We'll throw out some seeds. One, two, three, four. All right. Apples. Apples should be one floor down. Or up, up, up. My farm's up. Yum. Right there, two apples. Perfect. Okay, let's start off with this. And this. Whoop. Surround these around this bad mamma jamma. And then let's put... These are some expensive ice apples. This. So this, this, and this. Right? Is that right? Oh, I need a red heart. I gotta go get a red heart first. So we gotta go all the way down to the mob farm. Dun, 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 dun. My health is not recovering. It's because I need to eat some chicken. Leroy! At least I got chicken. Although I really think he says at least I'm not chicken, but whatever. Pink. Okay, so now, what are you guys doing in here? There's this. There's this. I think it's something like this and then this. Or is it this? There we go. So there's an accessory heart container can be eaten to restore 30 hearts. This is used to make a yellow heart container, and that's all. Okay, do you, where do you equip these? Okay, so you can put one of these here. What does it do? Okay, cool. So my hearts are filling up down there. So I should probably... I wonder how many hearts it will give me. Just one? So if I take that... I could probably make another one of those. But if I put this in here with this and this, I get that. 
and I can put this on here. And we'll go ahead and take another heart with us. Because I can make the other one pretty cheap. We'll just need to grab an apple on the way. Is it one heart per? Is that it? Or do I need both? I may need both. I'm hoping I need both. Oh, man. Okay, YouTube. Thanks for watching. As usual, if you liked it, toss me a like. If you'd like to see more like it, give me a subscribe. You'll be notified of when my episodes are coming on. And if you happen to be watching one, you'll be notified when I start streaming. Episodes come out every day at 7 p.m. Central. And I stream every night from 9 to midnight. Here in the near future, I may be streaming a bit of Fallout. We'll see. I'm kind of debating it at the moment. But we're definitely going to continue on with this series. I'm having a great time. My subscriber base has been rising steadily. My last time I checked, and that was just before I started this, I was up to 74. So that's really cool. We're about to hit 75 subscribers. Goal right now is to hit 100. And, I don't know, maybe maybe once I hit 100 subscribers, I'll start Fallout 4 or something. We'll see. But thanks for watching. Thanks to everybody that's been watching. Thanks for the comments. You guys are awesome. Y'all take it easy. See ya.